Russian cabs have been a decisive factor in the occupiers' advance in eastern Ukraine this year. But now the Ukrainian armed forces are preparing to fight back with their own glide bombs. A recent video filmed by the crew of a Ukrainian Su-27 fighter jet shows an Su-24 bomber carrying a prototype of a glide munition under its wing. As Forbes writes, not satisfied with the American JDAM ER and French Hammer, the Ukrainians clearly intend to arm their aircraft with bombs of their own production. Brigadier General of the Ukrainian Air Force Sergei Goluptsov said back in June that Ukraine was developing a new planning and guidance kit to turn Soviet-style unguided bombs into precision-guided munitions. The test flight on the Su-24 was an important step in developing this weapon. As noted, thanks to the wings and the rocket booster mounted on the tail, the GPS-guided bomb is likely very similar to the hammer. Perhaps the Ukrainians, when developing their ammunition, copied the French weapon to some extent. It is known that the hammer reaches a distance of up to 65 kilometers. The armed forces of the armed forces of Ukraine are obviously pleased with the range and accuracy of this bomb, which cannot be said about the volume of deliveries. Paris promised to provide 50 such shells per month. At the same time, the Russians drop 3,000 cabs monthly along the entire front line. If Ukraine succeeds in producing the new bomb locally, it could begin to catch up with Russia's own planned bombing campaign. The new bomb would join a growing portfolio of Ukrainian-made munitions, including the Neptune cruise missile, the new Palyanitsya missile drone, and a host of one-way attack drones, including at least two models of an unmanned sport aircraft that can fly 1,000 kilometers with an explosive payload. The publication notes, Moreover, by creating its own precision-guided munitions, Ukraine is freed from being completely dependent on fickle allies for key military capabilities, it will also allow it to bypass Allied restrictions on strikes against Russian targets. Most critically, the Americans prohibit the Ukrainians from firing precision ballistic missiles deep into Russia. This includes the air bases from which Russian planes take off and then attack Ukraine. This new bomb will remain an idea until the Air Force has fully tested the new bomb and the factory tools for creating the weapon. The Ukrainian Air Force has armed several types of combat aircraft with American and French glide bombs, in particular the Su-24, Su-27 and MiG-29. All three types could eventually carry the new Ukrainian bomb, Forbes concludes. Recently, the Russian armed forces Shahed Kamikaze drones attacking Ukraine have begun flying into Belarus. This is probably not an accident, but a deliberate provocation by the Kremlin. This opinion was expressed by the popular telegram channel Siv on Socrates. It is noted that Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko has recently begun to waver on the issue of Ukraine. He makes statements that contradict the general line of the Putin regime. For the Kremlin, such rhetoric is absolutely unacceptable. Belarus, as an instrument of warfare, is also assigned a certain role in the strategy of Muscovy. There, they are very suspicious of the current rhetoric of Minsk, which contains at least three seditious moments. We are talking about a peaceful Belarus, i.e. a refusal to be involved in Russian military adventures. Then Lukashenko admits the presence of adequacy in the actions of the Ukrainian leadership. Finally, Putin's most painful point is touched. He is not eternal either. He must prepare for departure. In the Russian Federation, they immediately made the appropriate conclusions about the double think of the Belarusian leadership and began to urgently take measures to urgently draw the de facto semi-occupied satellite into the orbit of Russian military algorithms. The resource writes, It is emphasized that the Kremlin really does not like the vacillations of the Lukashenko, in connection with which they began to put intense pressure on Belarus, including through the Shaheds. The situation with kamikaze drones is already so serious that Belarusian troops have to use the air defense system to intercept them. The author believes that such provocations are an act of military aggression by Russia, which is dangerous to turn a blind eye to. It cannot be ruled out that the Kremlin will raise the stakes to force Lukashenko to fully engage in the war. For now, such incidents are just testing the waters, and in the future we should expect major problems and risks. The channel writes, It believes that Belarus should urgently begin neutralizing Russian agents as well as strengthening the air defense system on its eastern border. 
The scenario of Russia bombing Belarus looks quite realistic and there is no doubt that the Kremlin will be able to explain to its citizens why this is necessary. In fact, the main and only threat to Belarus today is not Ukraine or NATO, but supposedly friendly Russia.